Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back for another quick dose of encouragement. Today, I want to share with you something I hope we never fall for as Christians. All right, let's check it out together. It says, when grace becomes an excuse to live in sin, you are no longer under grace, but under deception. And I like this meme because it makes me think. All right, let's look at the verses I chose to connect with today's post. This is Romans chapter six, verse one and two. And it says, what shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? A lot of questions in these two verses that Paul is writing to the Roman church. And these verses also apply to us. But it's very important for us to look at this and say, if, if I will use the concept of grace, that God will forgive me, that God understands, that God knows I'm weak, that nobody's perfect, right? If I will use those as my alibis to live in sin, that's the key, not to fall into sin, not to make a mistake, but I live in sin. I have no desire to change this. This is just what I'm going to do. And I will just say I'm good with God. God knows my heart. Yes, he knows our heart. And yet we will continue to live in sin, thinking that he will forgive us. We're not living under grace at that time. We're living under deception. Because again, as Paul writes, should we continue living this way because God does give us grace and to make the grace pile on? God forbid. That is wrong. No, no. Don't live that way just because you can go to God and ask for forgiveness. I love to think of it this way. I love this is when God placed this in my spirit years ago. I've never forgotten it. What if we, we thank God and we pray for forgiveness? Why not pray for the strength to not fall into the temptation? Why not pray for the strength to not commit the sin? The same words we utter to pray for forgiveness, we can lean on his power to strengthen us so we don't fall into the sin. So don't fall for the trick that I'll just ask for forgiveness. That is not right. God forbid we have that mindset. We're not under grace at that time. We're under deception. We're fooling ourselves because the Bible also tells us that when we know to do right and we willfully sin, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sins. You know what's right and you're choosing what's wrong. Come on, that's not right. That is not grace, that is deception. So be very, very careful as a Christian that you don't fall into the trap of thinking all I gotta do is say a quick few words of I'm sorry, Lord. Now, the beautiful thing is that's really all you gotta do. But you can't have the mindset that I'm going to keep living in sin and I'll just utter a, an apology and get out of this thing. Because if you love God, like you say you do, you say he loves you and you're good with God. If you love him, you will strive. You will give every ounce of your energy to not continue to live that way because you honor him too much to keep asking him to crucify the Lord afresh. When Jesus died on the cross for you and for me, every time we sin, it's like saying, Jesus, go do it again. Jesus, go do it again. And if you love Jesus, you would never ask him to do that. So we won't live in sin. Again, you might fall into sin. You might make a mistake. You might have some error in your life. But you won't live that way because God forbids we live that way, not and say that we're his children. Right. So, again, I pray that you are encouraged by today that if you are a person that is living in sin, living like every single day, it's what you do and you know it's wrong. I pray that you will take a few moments to ask God to forgive you for those sins and then to strengthen you to not return to that. And I know sometimes it takes huge life choices in the moment to not go back to what that is. But I would much rather struggle in righteousness than to go through life 
easy and smooth thinking I have God's grace over me when I am deceived. And in the end, when he should be saying, well done, he looks at me and he says, depart from me. I know you not, ye worker of iniquity. And that is what I don't want for you either. All right. God bless you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in today. And I cannot wait to spend tomorrow morning with you. Remember, join me each and every day, Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. for a quick dose of encouragement. Don't forget, if you'd like to grab a copy of my book recap, you can find all the information in the description of this video. Also, if you'd like to support the show in any way, you can find those details as well in the description. God bless you guys. I cannot wait to see you tomorrow. Watch it, share it, and live it. Now let's get busy living the life. God bless you.